welcome to my channel so uh, this is the part two of the dress so you cut the lining and uh, you cut the lining the same way as the fabric you can see i've cut it and i've lined it the fabric with my lining and uh, i i fixed my dart so my dart i it is uh, seven inches uh, that's folded into two is 3.5 so i added one inches that's the same it's uh, four inches so i make sure uh, from the up down to where i started my that from is 10 while uh, where it ended is 20. so you just go ahead and fix your that and you cut in uh, the fab the lining the same way you cut the uh, fabric so we did not turn the neck because we are going to pipe in it so that's why we did not turn it so uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button do well to give this video a thumbs up share the link so that can also watch so go ahead and fix um and join the two back uh, piece so i'm just going to measure it into that place i pointed so i'm just going to sew the rest down to where my slit is so let me show you you see from there you measure it down eight inches so eight inches you can make it seven you can make it nine but eight inches will do so you just sew it down to that 18 inches from the shoulder so i'm just going to sew this particular spot that i marked with shock then uh, uh, we'll fix the uh, zipper also so this place we are going to fix the zipper you can fix it with whatever way you want to fix your zipper you can fix it so also the front fabric i've cut my line line is the same way the front fabric is i caught it and i have joined the fabric with my lining this is the half cut for the this is the bottom part of the front piece you know i i did a half cut on the front piece and look at the upper part of it which is the uh, bust here you can see i cut the fab the, the lining the same way i cut the fabric and i went ahead to join the three piece together using half inches you can use quarter inches so i i used it right side facing uh, right side so i sewed it at the upper part following the shape and also i sewed the side because i don't want to i don't want to push um i don't want to weave it so if you know you want to weave your own can can as well leave the side without turning but me i don't want to weave all right so go ahead with the other part of the the dress which is the neckline you can see that this is the one i cut during our cutting stage so i went ahead to cut another another uh, piece of it with the fabric then i have to add them um, one inches at the up one inches at the bottom so as to uh, enable me joint you can see i've already this piece is bigger than the first one i cut because i added allowance so i had just you can see how i sewed it i sewed it at the bottom leaving the neckline so we'll go ahead and uh, i'll sh you place the fabric the upper part on the neckline uh, on top of the bustier so we are just going to allow it to overlap it with half inch so you allow it to overlap it at the edge with half inch so you can see how i'm doing it you watch carefully and do the same so you fix it that way and sew it with half inch place it on top and sew down and it's going to be very nice after sewing it so um please if you are new to my channel please subscribe click on the subscribe button and click on the notification button so whenever i put my put new videos new tutorials you can be alerted so in case you want your, your keyhole to be wider to to be open you can you can see where i marked with chalk just now and you can make it make the line, neckline bottom uh, part of it you can make it wider or you can also uh, uh, um, 
reduce from the bustier from for where the sweetheart is you can reduce from the bustier there also so we just go ahead and sew our, our, our piece together so we join it together you can see i've joined it together you can see i've joined it together like i told you we're joined together so i'll go ahead and join the upper with the skirt pattern i'm going to join the 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 half cord and the skirt part of the front together so you can see how i told you the other time that i will sew it and i'll finish sewing it i'll finish sewing it so just go ahead and join the upper and the back bodies back bodies as like i told you depend on how you want your key your opening to be wide if you want it to be wide you you start shaping the bustier and the neck line so i'll go ahead and join the front and the back bodies and so I, this is the sleeve this is the sleeve i folded i, I like cutting my piece just once so i folded the fabric into four so i'll be cutting now i'm not using slash and um slash and spread method i'm just go ahead and I, I want to cut a flare so i'll just be using the shape of my regular sleeve that i've cut so my, my flare will be a little bit five inches or six inches longer than the normal sleeve that i've cut so it will be five inch or six inch longer than it so that it can puff very well remember it's a puff sleeve so i'll just go ahead and take the shape of my flare and the shape of my sleeve then i will cut it down i'll cut it down so January, I'll be organizing an online class. If you're interested, um, the link will be made available by January. If you're a beginner, you want to learn about sewing, um, I'll be there to teach you online. You can learn sewing online, whereby you can sew easy, easy thing for yourself. And then uh, if you want to perfect your sewing, I'll, I'll also teach you. So when the time comes, I will put the link and then uh, of course you can register for the class online so i'll go ahead and i will cut my i'll cut my flare then i'll go ahead and cut the flare so like i told you i cut the two sleeves together Cut the two sleeves together. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Drop your comment. I would like to hear review about my videos so far to enable me serve you better. So please drop your comments in the comment section. So I've cut it. So I've cut out my flare. You can see how easy it is. I don't. I did not use it. A slash and spread method so I'm using a free hand and it will come out very beautifully so keep trying the tutorial the videos keep watching them keep learning they will give up keep learning anyway you made mistake you can rectify it and start all over again success do not come in a day it is a gradual process keep trying trying and not giving up so I've caught it so um I just want to um, uh, place this uh, flare on this uh, regular sleeve that we've cut. So just like I notch the middle, so I'll just pin the two middle, I pin the two middle together. So I'll go ahead to my sewing machine and I'm going to pleat, tiny, tiny pleats. You can see how I'm pleating it. You pleat it gently and uh, keep on pleating it till you i through with the painting so you can see how i pin i'm pinning it so that uh, i'll be able to show you how to pleat it you keep on pleating it and you keep on pleating it till you get to the end you have exhausted the exhausted the flare so you go ahead and keep pleating it till you've exhausted the flare just the flare. If 
for my old subscribers. I want to thank you for always being there for me. I want to say thank you very much for watching my videos. God bless you. And as you keep trying, God will give you retentive memory for to, to, to understand it more and even more better than I do. Okay, so I've sewn it and the can see i've sewn it so i will flip it over so when uh, attaching the when when uh, the first stage that i showed you use right side facing right side okay so i flipped it over so you can see how i want to join it now so i'll just go ahead and pin it and go to my sewing machine then join together A pin so that uh, all right so you, you you sew that other part together I just want to pin it so as to show you how it's it will look like after sewing it okay so after pinning after I'm uh, sorry joining sewing the upper part of the sleeve you just have to Fold it together, right side facing right side, and you you sew out your desired uh, the circumference of your your this um sleeve your your hand arm tight. And you just go ahead and sew whatever measurement that you measured your client so that it will at least tight the person at the hand. So. can see how it looks so you go ahead and fold it and go to your sewing machine our sleeve is already coming out it's coming out it's coming out okay you can see how it looks like at the inside so take your measurement and you sew down so we I'm through with the sleeve so this is the piece I will use to pipe in the neck you know I told you you don't have to turn the neck line so I'll just I just cut out strips straight strips and I'm just going to pipe in it if you have bias if you uh, I've seen bias sorry to say you can see how bias is so I'm just going to uh, use this to turn the neck and you can make your total neck but i just want to use this piece to pipe in the neck okay i'll use the piece to pipe in the neck then uh our dress is almost ready after fixing the sleeve of course i'll fix the sleeve also so first of all so it round this way you make sure you exhaust the neck line then you, you flip it over you can see i flipped it over then you fold again then you sew down to do you are through exhausting the neck line so i'll just go ahead and do that with my sewing machine then i'll also fix my sleeve i'll fix my sleeve then my dress is ready well my dress is ready because i fixed this sleeve you can see the bustier i did not part the bustier i didn't part it but once the my client put on bra very good bra it will look as if it is padded and it will look beautiful. So uh you can see the the hole there. It's not like I told you my client do not want it wide. So if you want if your client wants it wide and can do whatever, explore, do whatever your client wants you to do. So I'm just putting that to show how it will look like when you put on bra, you put on or you pad it. And this is how it will look like. I see it's already taking shape. Very beautiful. Thank you for watching my video. Please give this video a thumbs up. And also a share. And if you have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button. And I'll see you in our next tutorial. God bless you. Bye.